Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So this was a pretty exciting week. So you've probably seen that we have worked on the sort of the firewall forward fuselage bit, which is sitting on the on the screen there, sort of on the left. And we've worked on the rear part of the fuselage, which is on the table, sort of on the right of the screen there. Um, the rear fuselage is where the passengers and the baggage area go and sort of the passenger feet go. Um, but now we're working on sort of the, the bits that go on the, the forward part, which is what you see attached to the firewall there. But below it, right, you'll notice that there's no skin on the bottom, there are no ribs there, um, there's no bulkheads, there's no nothing. Uh, so we're going to work on all of those little ribs that go there that make the floor of the, uh, the sort of the front side of the cabin. Um, and uh, all of the little bits that assemble to the, that attach to the, um, the bulkheads, the, the, the spar carry through, and there's also sort of a sub bulkhead there. So this is what, uh, we're, <laughs> what you're seeing me do right now is basically prime all of these parts. Um, and uh, and then go back through and sort of rivet them together. This is sort of my favorite part right here is once I have parts that have been primed. I keep saying favorite, like my favorite parts. Like I love all of this, but <laughs> maybe maybe not so much the priming. Um, the I have all of the parts ready and primed and drilled and ready to go. And I start sort of riveting things together. And you can see I make little assembly, assemblies uh, that are on the table right there. You see those are all riveted together and they have their nut plates on them or you know whatever they need. Um, also, you'll notice that I am riveted, well, we riveted <laughs> the, uh, the, the tunnel openings that I talked about last time. And this is the floor of the part that we're working on, right? It's the floor that attaches to uh, the firewall forward, or I guess the firewall and rear of the firewall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a lot of deburring, and then we put all of the little ribs in place, Clico everything, and then take a break because <laughs> you just deburred a bunch of stuff, and then you drill it all, move all the Clicos, right? Like you've seen, you've seen this before, right? It's a, it's a lot of assemble, drill, disassemble, drill, assemble, drill, um, and here we go. This is starting to look like an airplane part. So um, you see that that sort of sub bulkhead right there in the middle. Um, Yep, looks like yeah, and we had to drill the 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 ribs, the sort of the firewall tunnel ribs, which is why it's tipped up, and then we we'll tip it back down and uh, get everything else drilled and in place. And as I said, disassemble, deburr, reassemble, disassemble, deburr, reassemble, and the um, the wing spar carry through. Uh, is attached to there, right? Because this actually mates to the rear. You see there's a spar carry through on the part on the table in the back. So those two sort of mate together and you're gonna see this happen um, very quickly here. Unfortunately, um, the camera angle is actually sort of terrible for this, so it, it's not a good view, but there are pictures of this on Instagram. See, it's going, oh, there we go. Oh, that, that actually is okay. You could see what happened there. Um, there are pictures of this on Instagram, a much better view, and you can see Mary taking pictures of it. So go take a peek at that. Um, you'll notice that we actually bolt these together, um, and I don't use the final close tolerance wing bolts because uh, A, those bolts are really expensive. Oh, that looks great, look at that. <laughs> those bolts are really expensive. Uh, they're hard to find. Vans is pretty much the only source for them. Um, and I don't wanna scar them up, right? The, the close tolerance bolts um, are really tight in the holes as they're supposed to be. Um, so I use hardware store bolts that I carefully clean up so that there's no burrs on them that won't uh, damage the the, the holes and, and things like that. And, uh, but here we go, uh, deburring everything and then uh, killing time because I don't terribly enjoy deburring. <laughs> so more deburring, dimpling, drilling. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of dimpling going on there. You'll notice that I have the uh, pneumatic squeezer um, that I got and I've started using it a lot more, but I haven't really been using it for dimpling. Um, oddly enough, very, very often, because it doesn't squeeze as hard, which is interesting. I still need to figure that out. Um, there will be a video on the pneumatics and comparing it to the, to the regular uh, squeezer. Uh, I'm still sort of on the fence, um, honestly. I think I still need to get a better uh, regulator for it to, to, to actually make it work a little better. I don't know. More on that later. <laughs> so, yep, dimpling the 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 bottom of the few of the forward fuse uh, it 
it's the one that we've been working on. You can see I've got some primer mixed already over there that's sitting there kicking. And then while I have time to burn, I'm just dimpling everything else to get everything ready. Um, it looked like magically all those parts got scuffed, but of course uh, we're, we're doing this in the house now, actually. We're, we're scuffing and cleaning parts inside our guest bedroom in the house, uh, in our guest bathroom in the house, rather, um, so you don't see it there. Um, it actually turns out that it's a pretty good spot to do it, so that worked out well. But anyway, so this was a crazy good week, um, lots of progress there, and you'll notice that this is actually the previous week from the week I'm releasing this. Um, I took the week off um, of building and uh, we did some paint work on the airplane and you're gonna see uh, paint repair, you know, like little touch-ups and things like that, right? Like, no, not new paint. So you'll see more of that coming up um, in a future video. Thank you, as usual, please subscribe, hit the notify button so that you can see where new videos are up and have a great weekend.